Alright, so this is the beginning of my second day of playing this game now. Uh, if, I, if I remember last time, we ran to population problems, we had some family lines dying out, we ran to issues there in general, but where I left off, we have multiple houses now. Yeah, both of them have people that are going to be around for a while. This guy is, this person's partner is probably going to die soon and have to be replaced, but other than that, the crucible is stocked. How's, oh, the, the research, that's right. The Sage Rite Guild is where I'm currently low. And I don't really have good people to put in either, unless I want to just lose my combat squad. So, I think basically at this point we need to just pass time forward and hope that some of these newly- these new children that are around will grow up. We have two females up here, and one male over here, and hopefully the, uh... Oh, there's also the, uh, female in, ha in House Shadow Cloak. All, all three houses have pretty decent ages, aside from the fact that, uh, the, the partner down here is 85 at an amazingly old age. Uh, so at this point we have one, we have three females and one male growing up, so we'll have more soldiers and hopefully House Rabbit in particular, which seems to have very high fertility, both because they're young and because they're at a increased fertility location, we'll hopefully get a whole bunch of new people showing up. And that'll hopefully help our population problem as I s Whoa! Whoa, as I say that, they had two more All babies. ruling is choices, isn't it? Fight here, yes. Use this, no. Did he do it? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. That's ruling. Arm wrestling. You groggily awaken to Aurora, Aurora Greed, uh, staring at your arm with a smile that both confuses and excites you. Your eyes meet. Hey. Want to arm wrestle? Uh, I can play to win and show your heroes why you're the ruler. Jesus. Uh, let Aurora win. Embarrassment could hinder performance in the battlefield. Or make Aurora arm wrestle Thomas Wicker as punishment for waking up for this. Is this tempting just to have them arm wrestle each other and, and stay out of it? A bit much. <laughs> a bit much. Aurora's smile quickly fades as Thomas strolls over with a smirk. The first four rounds are slow and painful, but the following five are excruciating. In fact, when it's all over, Aurora looks up at you with de defeated eyes. You wonder if this was an overreaction on your part. Thomas Wicker has gained experience, while Aurora Agreed has gained the flincher personality. Uh-oh. I didn't really... I didn't think that this would... I, I thought we were being playful here. I didn't realize we're, those, we're gonna have like a like genuine terrible side effects. Where exactly is... Okay, flincher personality. Reduced evasion against melee attacks. Oh, no. And Thomas Wicker got ex bonus experience. Did I just make him level 3, I think? I think I did. Well. I'm sorry. I was just, I thought I was just being pay playful. I was like, you, like, oh, whoa, go go arm wrestle that guy. If you want to arm wrestle so bad. And then now, now someone's mad at me, probably. So House Rabbit's kids just doubled. They went from 2 to, th to 4. So, that, yeah, that's exactly what I need, is a bunch of houses like them. I'll probably, I'll probably, after, after I, I'm, I'm currently boosting hero discovery so that when I in, get new heroes, they'll be higher level. Uh, when I, what if I go to recruit them? I'll, I might build another keep soon, just to keep going with the sheer number of keeps to get a big population boom. And then after that, I'll probably add another Sage Rite skill so I can research faster. But right now, I just don't have the ongoing population to keep up with the uh, demands of that particular location as much as I would like to. At least they were together at the end. That's better than what most people get. Brandon Weirich died at 90. That's the guy down here that I was, I was saying was going to die soon anyway. Also, I totally saw another baby pop out of that goddamn keep. <laughs> They're up to like six now. Alright, so you're age 40. Let's give you someone to continue the bloodline. Is there someone I can give you? Ah, oh, I have two low fertility options. Caberjack and Shadowjack. Let's see. Those are both melee characters, so not super psyched about either of them. Thomas Wicker is already in my combat crew and he's higher level, so I kind of want to keep him around for combat reasons. So should I give you Leo, Leo Conan? Uh, wow, for a second there I thought I'd pick the same gender because they look so similar. Oh, Child Tendency is Sons. That's a good idea. Yeah, I think I want to give them, have them work with this person. Low fertility is a bummer, but uh, at least uh, at least the tendency towards sons will help us out because we'll have uh, yeah, I, I'm low on sons. I'm I, everyone's having women right now. 
This character has nothing particular to look at, just just combat traits. He's the one that just leveled up from doing combat, so I'd like to keep him in the in the uh, vanguard. All right, we're gonna get a moderate chance of Caberjacks. I would have preferred, I would have liked to marry off uh, for more archers, but I don't really have the uh, the character pool for that right now, unfortunately. All right, and here we go. Hopefully, these characters will age a bit faster. Yeah, they're they're up to five people over there. I wonder. if... I d definitely need some of these characters to get older. Uh, th this Shadow Cloak's the only place that gives me Hunters, and I want to keep that line going as best as I can, because Hunters are probably my favorite class to have around. Let's see if I can make it to that research finishing before... Yep, research complete. These book, Those books have seen better days, but we have translated a, a volume... a whole three volumes of ancient Chalice text, and we discovered a secret chemical recipe to call upon better heroes from the Chalice. So now... Whenever I do heroes, discover new heroes, uh, they should now be like level 3 or something, instead of uh, being level 2 or whatever. Let's see. Oh, currently deployable heroes is only at 5. That's a bummer. Uh, I do think I want to build a keep, though, just so I can get more bloodlines going, because I'm, I'm doing so bad at getting a population. I don't feel a lot of... I don't feel a lot of reason to upgrade my combat capabilities, because so far, I am absolutely destroying people. What's a ram cap ca caber? Uh, oh, it's a what? Adding explosive tips to cabers will push enemies ar around a lot farther than our standard models. That'd be handy, because uh, the knockback's the only thing that keeps stuff from exploding on your melee characters. Perilous core. Uh, explosive... This is a self-detonating stone. St self-detonating stone for the risk-prone hero. Is it a mine? Anyway, let's get, let's work on building a keep. I think. Let's confirm that. Because I, I I need to have more people spawning into my world. We have all these regions that are completely empty because I've never built on them. I wonder if I should start building those. I wonder if I should start building keeps on my inner territory. Is it completely empty? Yeah, this one over here is the only one that currently has a keep on it. So let's start building keeps in some of these areas that are currently less defended. The Ebbet Marsh. I don't have a particular reason off the top of my head to pick one or the other. I guess I'll pick this top direction because there's nothing in that direction. So I, I assume that the keeps have some defensive uh, function. As the, en as the enemies invade, I assume at some point they'll invade these keeps and we'll actually fight for them. So let's try building a keep here in the northern, the northwest direction where I don't have anything on the outer reach. I'll probably never build something in this empty, the Pale Sea. Uh, I'm not in a big hurry to get more Caberjack strength, and I, I think that might be one of the areas that I allow to be taken over if pressed to. Obviously, I don't want anything to get taken over if I can avoid it, but eventually something's gotta lose. I don't think it's likely we'll have the opportunity to avoid that. Two more babies! Another baby! Another baby! Come. We've gone ahead and sent word to evacuate. Now it's on you to make sure it's only temporary. Alright, right here we have... No, uh, Alright, oh, right, I can't look at the baby populations anymore. But I think I, I think I saw four more babies pop up in that few seconds right there. So we should have a nice population boom. Once I get this other key built, we should have a lot of uh, children. So I can get some strong bloodlines and not have to worry so much about population. So that I can properly keep my... Both my vanguard stocked and my uh, my research and crucible and stuff like that, which seems like the right approach. Uh, we are being under we're under attack right now. My choice is this spot. My choice is the location that's currently uh, the current that's currently weakened already, and this location that hasn't been weakened yet. Uh, if I defend this one, I get bonus experience. If I defend this one, I get bonus progress on my current research time. I think I want to do this one, both because it'll defend this place from hitting two on the th on the uh, corruption scale, where this one could it should be it'll get its first corruption point. Also, I don't have a I don't put a ton of value right now. I don't currently put a ton of value in individual uh, unit experience just because they're so impermanent right now. But this will be significant progress towards a permanent structure, which is ham is handy. This one has lapses and wrinklers. This one has bulwarks. Yeah, I also like the idea of not fighting bulwarks since those 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 are probably the most dangerous unit for me so far in my experience. 
Do I have a- oh no, someone died. Oh right, last mission someone died during the mission, I remember. Well, we only have one person to bring along. It's another Cabberjack. I, I desperately need that hunter- that hunter family to produce. I'll be happy to, uh... I'll be happy to look for new soldiers just for the sake of- oop! I forgot to- I must have forgotten to confirm him. There we go. I'll definitely be looking to, uh... Yeah, Thomas Wicker over here. Once we get a new keep, he'll- I'm probably gonna make him the regent of that keep and marry him to a Shadow Jack if I can, because that should le that should give us, uh... That should give us bow characters to use, which is what I need. I need- I want- I, I want another- I want another location that's breeding more bow users. Hopefully Thomas Wicker doesn't die during this mission. Alright, so no one has skill points? God, you can really tell my- the, the Greed family is just spewing out, or at least was spewing out children before, because now there's just this whole array of this one house representing my entire uh, vanguard group, which is problematic, because they're all melee. It's the least ideal setup, probably, but I think this particular setup, I, th I think, I don't, I'm trying to remember what a wrinkler is exactly, but I think the enemies we're fighting this round should be okay for fighting with melee characters, and Thomas can keep everyone covered. Thomas, who does, does he, he doesn't have, a, yeah, he doesn't have a relic bow. I think I lost the relic bow permanently when I unfortunately let most of that, I, I, I mismanaged that family tree and let a lot of them die. This game is a lot like Invisible Ink in that subsequent playthroughs, you'll make much, much smarter decisions, although this game's long enough that I could, I could significantly improve in the course of one playthrough. So hopefully I can turn around the mistakes of the past and improve my kingdom over the next few years. Or, next 250 years before the, we hit the end of the game. Here's with impressionable ta trait pick up personalities from other heroes in battle. One of your heroes looks a little queasy. Maybe tell them it'd be best not to eat right before a jump. And now there's a turkey egg floating in our bowl. Great. So are Wrinklers new? He was listed as- the Wrinkler was listed in both of the, uh... The Wranglers were listed as enemies in both of the options I had. I don't think I've fought them before. They don't look familiar to me. I assume there's some kind of stealth enemy that'll sneak up on you and try to beat the crap out of you. I think my top priority is going to be to deal with... Oh, there's debris over here where people can't move forward? Okay. Let's see here. Can I shoot either of these characters from here? 85% chance? That's pretty good. Let's get a little, a little closer in that direction. I, I, I'm assuming that that's debris no one can pass over, I hope, so I'm going to... Should, should I bother with follow-up? Nope, my base attack should kill them immediately, so I'll just go for the shot. Oh, I'm so sorry, audience. I should have shot that one. If I shot that one, it would have knocked the other one off the cliff and we'd be done. Alright. Well, I don't know what the range of wrinklers are, but they're in my line of sight. Let's see, I have a Shadow Jack, Shadow Jack, Cabber Jack. Shadow Jack. I'm half tempted to be like, Cabber Jack, you go in defensive mo- uh, you be a uh, distraction and everyone attack you, but he's the young- that's the young character. He's, uh, oh, he's level- he's apparently level 3. But he's my young character that just joined and he has low on hit points. Let's see, oh! Yeah, there we go, low hit points, low dexterity, but hey, fast learner, could be useful. Low evasion against ranged attacks, rebel, so he, he rebels against the traits of other people. We'll see how he goes. Anyway, I'll form a back line back here. Oops, that was an accident. Oh well. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the wrinklers approach me first if I can, and my archer's gonna focus on wiping out these uh these lapses as a range. That's my current approach right anyway. Cause I, I don't- I don't want to- I don't know exactly what Wrinklers are capable of, but I'm gonna let them make the mistake of approaching me first, so I can double-team them. Hey guys, you have a lot of hit points, you know that? Alright, my archer's gonna finish off this, uh, Lapse, who was dumb enough to go back into my attack range. Bam! 150 experience, and screaming. <laughs> Alright, Lapse is taken care of, so we don't have to worry about so much about losing experience now. At this point... I'm gonna want to just double team them as much as possible, right? So let's see if I can surround this enemy on all four sides. Did I just make myself unable to attack? Shit! 
Did I forget how to move this? Did I forget how to use this? How to play this game? God damn it. Oh well, we have enough people, we should be able to take this guy out. Let's see. If I use knockback, it'll do 4 to 5 damage, but if I just attack... If I just attack... Straight up, it'll do... 14 to 18 damage, that's like half their hit points. One other character gets a good hit in like that and they should die. I can't believe I, I forgot how to move in this game and walked right around like that. Alright. Uh, wow, high chance of hitting. 9 to 13. I'm, ideally, I'll take out one of these guys this turn, if no one misses. And then we'll the, the other guy will get an attack in, but at least we won't have to worry about... Uh, we won't have to worry about getting an extra attack. Please die. Glancing blow, because of course. That's bad. That other character might get, get attacked twice now. Oh, he's gonna run all the way over there. Oh. Oh shit, Rink Wrinklers make you older. Holy shit. Also, they almost killed this person. Oh, wow. Poor Aurora. She's the character that we gave Flincher because we had her arm wrestle. Which was... I, I felt bad about that. And she just aged 10 years just now. Alright, so now we know what Wrinklers do. They are literally the worst thing that I've ever heard of. Uh, let's do what we can to finish this one off. Yeah, confirm. Let's get our archer in... Let's try to get our archer in proper range. Because the archer can do a lot of damage against this guy because he's just really strong. So ideally... Wait, no. Cancel. Can I see him from there? I can. Good. I just, I just had, I'd, 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 I'd ensure that I'd be able to hit them. We're going to use follow-up to do as much damage to this guy as possible. Because fuck that guy. There we go. Follow-up shot. There we go. Much better. Alright, Aurora, take your revenge on this dick. Oh, you're not going to get to kill him? Oh well. You should. You still deserve to get a hit in. And our, and our young guy is going to finish him off. Right? Right. At least there's no on-death special effect. Should have probably had Aurora heal. My bad. Instead of instead of wasting this the turn, so that this guy's kind of doing nothing now. Huh. I'll slowly scout outward. Don't want to move too far ahead of the group in case we actually attract something nasty. I guess I could have used them to heal Aurora. Actually. Oh well. So Aurora, let's run forward. It's 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 nice to start in a location where you're kind of at a dead end, because it means that you can. Uh, you can just cover your back, and then you can just move forward, because you know, you know nothing's coming up behind you. And our archer, thankfully, took out a lot of dudes right away. I'll avoid moving the archer for now. Because if I do spot someone new, the archer could potentially take them out. Let's see. Let's move out. We're going to sort of fan out in a few directions. With the goal of spotting new guys. Does this person move slowly? Slow. Yep. That's a bu That's a bummer. Slow movement speed is really bad for a melee character in particular. Alright. Do I keep scouting? Just trying to spot something new. Nothing yet. Alright. Let's see. This character can stealth move. So let's get a little closer. Since I can get away with doing it while not... Uh, next, not, not, not necessarily revealing myself. This one's just a caberjack. This one's a shadow jack, but I can't move to anything that I can actually stealth by. But I'll, I'll move forward a little more. Put our high hit point character in the front. Cabra Jack will, hi will hug this corner over here. I probably- oh, I probably shouldn't be hanging out by the cliff. They can knock me off. I'll have to fix that. Anyway, Wicker, time for you to run forward. Since I don't think we're gonna spot anyone new to fight this round. Alright, nothing new happened. Over here we have a dead end, where that only path across is blocked. There is more platform over there though, so it's probably going to be our ultimate goal. I'm thinking check this bottom area. Oh, there's a forest down here that probably blocks things off too. We'll, we'll check vaguely in that direction though. Entering stealth mode to explore. Oh. I saw you. For a brief second, I saw... I definitely saw a stealth character there. Let's see, Aura Greed, you also are a Shadow Jack, so I can go have you sneak up behind something. For scouting reasons. Having a bunch of Shadow Jacks means that I can sneak up on locations and then use my Archer to wipe them out before they even know that I can see them. 
Unfortunately, I'm not spotting anyone right now. Okay, there's a wall over here. A wall down here. So this whole area is pretty much explored at this point. I'll move forward with my with my cabra jack. And, oh. Him, him moving away at, at made this character enter lone wolf mode. Can I actually visibly t see the increased stats? I assume all of those bonuses to stats are from the lone wolf effect. So keeping him away from enemies. It's too bad he has low fertility because he has some really good traits actually. Uh, nearsightedness is bad, I guess. And low intelligence- and having high intelligence is kind of pointless for an archer, as far as I can tell. Alright. We'll want to take a closer look first, because any of these little dark spots could potentially have an enemy hiding in them. But this place looks pretty clear, so we're probably going to take this path, and then we'll probably wrap around this top area. And then we'll probably be done? Depending on just how much level there is out in that direction. Alright. Let's just, uh... Run in closer. Nope, oh, there's a there's a wrinkler. I expect there's nothing in this world I'll ever hate more than a wrinkler. And that includes the very concept of haggling. Get hit by one of them, and you might find yourself with more grey hairs than before. Be on your guard. Your oldest heroes are the most at risk, so it's imperative that you keep them away. It would have been nice for you guys to mention a little bit of that a moment ago. Before I fought one. But that's okay. You don't want to give me information that could lead to me keeping people alive. Let's get that follow-up shot in there. A nice double attack will get let us do some real damage to him. Alright, so my top concern here is that what if there's an extra... I could run in there and just take this guy out. The concern is what if there's another wrinkler hiding around somewhere. Let's see. These guys are the stealthy ones. He's too far away, so I'll have him... Just establish a new line of sight. Alright, if there was anyone hiding around here, I would have seen them by now, basically, so... It's gotta be it for them. So how far can I go with this stealth character to scout? There we go, I'll, I'll hide around this corner. Then I'll be able to see if there's anyone hiding else right around there. That got way, that got way less scouting around the corner than I thought it would. Alright, I'm probably gonna want to go for hitting this guy with the, uh... With my Shadow Jack. Yeah. Because if, if it's not a glancing blow, this guy's dead. And he needs to go down before something bad happens. Oh! And there is... There's a, there's a lapse right there. Man, enemies that age you and enemies that make you lose years of your life. These are the worst. Well, I can't do anything about it now. This, this turns over. And there's minus 150. That's okay, we'll just have to take our revenge by beating it right back out of him. Gimme! Did she even get stunned? Nope, she's not even stunned. She's fine. Cool. Alright. So this whole ma area of the map's pretty much cleared. See, does stealth change your movement speed? No, it doesn't. So I might as well just be in stealth mode then. Unfortunately, that's our slow character, isn't it? So they're gonna take a while to catch back up, but now we're just moving forward and exploring And being careful about running too far ahead taking cover and so on so that we don't get in serious trouble as we pr move as we press forward Yeah, you can go ahead and stealth run right up there For effective scouting So our final enemy should be so all of our final enemies should be somewhere in that direction No enemies making a move, alright. We'll keep scouting if I can. I can't scout any closer, alright. At this point we, we just have to walk into the open. This character's way off in the distance. Just gonna keep pressing forward. They're so slow, such a bummer. Let's see, I could wait a turn. Ah. Uh, let's see. We'll stop at the extent of my movement to see if I discover anything new, not quite. I'm gonna move a little slow on purpose, just so that my uh, slowest character can catch up a little bit. So I'll, st I'll stop at the, at the edge of my movement range and see if I discover anyone new along the way. Meanwhile, putting my archer in position to be able to wipe these guys out. There we go, so we'll end that guy's turn. Yep. Let's, let's get our slow character to regroup, so we don't get separated and messed up. There we go, they're more or less caught up now. Let's take a few steps forward. Just to 
see if I discover new enemies. There's some. Right off the bat. Everyone I don't want to see, basically. Alright, Archer. Can you get into attack range? It looks like I can't get into attack range from here. But I can st I can start moving in, basically. Ah. I'll just take a step forward. And move our slow characters further up. Oh, you already moved- you already went this turn. Let's see, can you- can you characters back up a little bit, still? Yeah. Let's back up ever so slightly so that they have to take the- they have to take the approach. And that'll give me more chance to fire at them as they approach, especially to get that guy from aging my party. Or they just won't attack. That's also an option, I guess. Alright. Can I move into range to shoot them from here? No, still? Alright. These guys will have to keep me safe as I approach. And here comes the cavalry. We're once again gonna stop for a turn. I want them to make the first move. Because they could they could potentially damn themselves in the process. Also, if they don't attack at once, that puts me in a good situation. Yep, they're slowly approaching. Oh, the Wrinkler's not approaching right away. Okay. I can take that. Just wipe them out from here. Where it's safe. And we're just gonna slowly approach. Have to be careful you have to be careful about whatever their whatever their maximum range is. Oh, you already moved this turn? Whoops. Alright. Anyone coming at me? Oh yeah, here's the wrinkler. But he can't quite reach it, just like I was hoping. Wait, all of these characters got stunned. How did- wait, how did killing the laps make them all stunned? They weren't in... They shouldn't have been in attack range. That's bad. Okay. We desperately need to double team this wrinkler. First step is to approach it from behind and see if. Oh, hello, guys. And see if I can knock this guy off this cliff. Please. Why does knockback never work? Seriously, what's the point of knockback if it literally never works? Like, <laughs> I don't think I've knocked anyone back ever. Now my characters are gonna get older, unfortunately. Uh, oh, you have a move. But I thought you were stunned. Oh, you were just- you were just, like, stretching for a moment. Can I attack him from here? I can. I might be able to kill him then. There we go. Okay. Yeah, knockback has way too little chance of working, considering it's the only thing that a melee character can do. So, at least at low levels. All they can do is attack people with the main- the main goal being that you can knock someone back, hopefully. Ow. Rude. Alright, can I reach them from here? I can, but I won't kill them. Let's see, 17 to 21, this character has high hit points so they should be fine. I'm gonna go in for melee. With the hoping the explosion causes the other guy some problems. Alright, didn't even stop this character, cool. Cause I have to be careful, I can't shoot everybody with my archer. But we'll move forward with the archer, get ready to attack the other character. I'll move with the other character first in case I somehow get stunned in the process. Let's go for killing the other laps. There we go. <sighs> Did not plan for that knockback the way I should have. See, every enemy has really good chance of knocking me back. It's just too bad none of my knockback work abilities are as consistent. Alright, three lapses down. Oh, that was it. Cool. Okay, okay. Since you and your heroes did so well here, I'll try and make sure their ride home is more pleasant and less vomit-inducing. They've earned it. Oh, I thank you. Okay, so three characters now have bonus skills. We have a whole pack of level fours. This actually might be one of the highest level overall packs I've had so far. Probably, and I think we're I think we're just now seeing the uh, I think we're now seeing the effects of me finally having a crucible. Like this is the, the probably the first generation of people raised in, in a world that had a crucible to make them more uh, level up more while they were aging. And they're all young enough that they could actually stick around for a little while, too. I'm gonna probably make Wanderer the leader of my keep, so I can make more hunters, because I need to breed more of those. 
And yeah, or Aura Greed's the only old character, and she's supposed to be 52, unfortunately. But she got hit twice in the by our first wrinkler. Adopted heroes have randomized traits, but they will still have a chance to pick up personalities of Regent and the partners they are raised. That's an overall interesting series of traits. And so our, our bottom location is stolen. We get it gets one point of corruption. Uh, and we lost two we lost two and a half years of research time. I mean well we made two and a half years of research progress, basically. Let's see. Yeah, this one has six children, three children, one child, unfortunately. They don't have a they don't have a great chance of breeding, but the al the, al the alternative is to let the family die out. And frankly, They've done well in the past, since this is the Greed family, this is where all those children that make up my entire Vanguard party came from in the first place. Crucible still has a living tra trainer. Let's see. Should I be recruiting a, a Sage Right? Uh, they're getting a little more intuition now. I might want to... I want to... I might want to put Aurora there, because Aurora is, uh... getting a little older, and I could use... I could definitely use another Sage Rite to progress things faster. The question right now is whether or not any of these children are almost 15. Ah, uh, wow, there's a lot of rabbit children. They're all Blast Cappers, which I believe are... Are those melee alchemists or are they, ra or are they ranger alchemists? Oh god, if they're all ranger alchemists, that'd be badass. Oh, they're called Blast Cappers. They might, pr they might be predominantly alchemists. It'll be interesting to see what the- what exactly the- oh wait, an alchemist and a caberjack make these guys. So, all of these people are... They're either... Alchemist melee characters, or they're melee alchemists. <laughs> Meaning they're either- they're either alchemists who... I don't know. We'll- we'll figure it out. Actually, can I just look at their- I can just look at their tree, can't I? Let's see, their- their weapon is... I can't look at their weapon from here. Anyway. We'll figure out exactly what these are when this one hits age 15 and joins my crew. That is going to take four more years, which is problematic, because that means that if I did recruit one of my characters into the Sage Rites Guild, I would be short an entire soldier for my vanguard, which is potentially problematic, but at the same time, I don't seem to need... Huh. I'd actually say my combat's going easily enough right now that I don't think I need five people in my vanguard, necessarily. All I'm doing is spreading the experience thinner. So yeah, let's actually, let's, 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 uh, recruit, uh, Miss Greed, who is... Is she old already? Yeah, she's already old, which means she gets, she gets bonus... She has bonuses to, uh, intuition and is getting less effective in combat already. So I'll go ahead and, and recruit her. For the purpose of making... Building the keep and other similar actions move faster. Cause that's that's important. That's the uh guild right sage right's important for our just overall progress all the time of how much we can accomplish uh upgrading ourselves before the game ends. So I think that's worth investing in. Alright. Thanks for watching guys like always. This episode we uh we finished improving our future soldiers that we will recruit, and we got like halfway through building a keep that we're going to probably try to set up to make more hunters of, of some kind, because I need more bow users, and uh, we lost we got a little bit more corruption, but we have a we had a huge baby boon, which which will hopefully hopefully continue next episode, especially after I establish a new home to make even more babies. Thanks for watching, guys, like always, and I'll see you next time.